I would like to take the time to thank our Lord and Saviour, Miss Judith Peep, for blessing us on this Friday, the 3rd of May, with an amazing album. Amen. Hi, I'm Kyle, and today I'm going to be listening to Dua Lipa's new album, Radical Optimism. Now, if you don't know, I am a massive <laughs> Dua Lipa fan. Uh, she just has everything I want in an artist. Like, she just pr produces dance bops after dance bops after dance bops. They're all just fun and lighthearted. There's some sad ones, but you know what? They're still dancey, they're still upbeat. And I've been waiting for this album for so long <laughs> since the baby was announced. Like what feels like forever ago. But yeah, we have Radical Optimism. 11 tracks, 36 minutes, 35 seconds along. Very similar to Future Nostalgia and I love that album. Have a reaction, check that out. But yeah, I've got high hopes and I'm ready to dance. Please consider subscribing and liking the video and yeah, as always, let me know what you think of the album down in the comments. But yeah, I'm too excited and I just need to get into it. Let's go. <laughs> also, there is construction going on outside, so if you hear some bangs, I can only apologise. Um, Alright, let's go. We have track one, End of an Era. Is it the end of future nostalgia era? Start radical optimism? Fingers crossed. I do have the lyrics up on my laptop as well if you see me looking down. That is why. Oh, okay. All right, <laughs> this is funky. One, two, three. Hey. A voice. This is the vibe already. Hello. Oh. This floor, this melody. Is everything? Right, I'm with you. Right, calm down, we have production, <laughs> on top of production, and I need a second to breathe. Wow, that, that was a vibe already. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. I actually can't wait for the rest of the songs. The flow, the melody, the way she's singing, first song in, like, in the pre-chorus, we're getting vocals already. You can tell a lot of thought and effort is being put into the production. And that's, and that's why I love Dua Lipa. That is why I love her. I'll be with you forever, Dua Lipa. I'll be with you forever. I wouldn't even question it. Oh, the floor. We're done. We're done. I wish I was done. I'm not. So, yes. I'm gonna be singing too much and I can only apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's so chill. Oh, we're getting a spoken. Spoken post chorus. Oh, we're in love. Right. We know you are not leaving the club, Mr. Little P. You have been in the club 24 <laughs> 7, I think. I've seen all the paparazzi pictures. I've seen you in the club. You know what? Invite me. <laughs> Just invite me. I'll be there. I'll drop my work. I'll drop whatever I'm doing and I will be there. Like she's desperate. Oh. Me too. Oh. La 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 la. <laughs> Do that again. Perfect way to outroll the song as well. Perfect. I, I can just picture myself. It's in a nice hot country, sun shining, just vibing, having a good time. Okay, there was a <laughs> quite the outro to that one. <laughs> All right, so I'll come out with an outro. I'm sorry, but that was a vibe. <laughs> like that was a vibe. How does that sound like future nostalgia? Like I don't, I don't get it. That sounds nothing like future nostalgia. Like. What? Are you crazy? I feel like that, that vibe is going to be a theme throughout the album, knowing the like, other singles that have been released and... I'm here for it. I'm absolutely here for it. This is going to be the album for... Yeah, just... Summer. Just summer. And that's... You know what? That's what Julie Leaper does best. 
That's what I want from Dua Lipa. That is my kind of music, that is my vibe. Oh, I've just seen the next track and... Oh. I am about to get very, very sweaty, all right? Because it's time for track two, Houdini. <sighs> she just breathes, did you hear? I have a reaction to this, if you want to check it out. Please do. do, 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 do. I'm gonna sing throughout this whole song and I'm gonna apologise now, I'm so sorry. Oh, and catch that kiss any day. Catch it right in my hands. And the music video, dancing, the effects, the psychedelic vibes. I fully feel it in this song. Oh, I should not be silly. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. Dua Lipa, there was no need to release a song <laughs> this good, it was unnecessary. I think this might be one of my favourite Dua Lipa songs ever. It's up there. Oh, what am I going to say? Physical. I love Physical from Future Nostalgia. Play it all the time still. I think it's going to be tied with it. Like, honestly, both amazing workout songs. I feel like I turned into a bit of a, a bit of a slut when I hear this song. <laughs> like, I just, it just feels dirty in the best way possible. Just... Pure filth. Can we get there? Ad libs. Ad libs. Four days. I'm not here for long. Hey, catch me or I go hoodie. Good enough to find a way. I'm so sorry to my neighbors as well. But I don't give a shit. One of the best bridges ever in life. How we get the vocals. This is like one of the best performances as well, which she did at the Grammys. We needed more. We needed more. Is it an electric guitar? I don't know nothing about music production. I will catch you, Miss Jewel Peep. Okay. You have been caught. And I will never let go. But yeah, I think we really needed more like, I don't know, promotion for this single. Like, that Grammy's performance was amazing. And I... Imagine if we had more live performances of Houdini and, like, just to push it and promote it, like, it just would have been elite. I would have loved it. Oh, I actually am sweating my little titties off. I am <laughs> genuinely sweating after that. From my water bottle to be prepared because I knew what I was going to be in for and I knew I was going to need it. Calm down, <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. We've got nine other songs to go. Ben Parker, you are a genius. Because <laughs> that song, yeah, like I said, might be one of Dua Lipa's best ever. Time for track three, another one. Well, I love, I absolutely love this song. You might not. <laughs> uh, track three, Training Season. Like, t so far they all sound like so different. They're all their own songs. They're, like, mixed together so well. Yes. That, this background production, is it a flinging of a guitar? I don't know, but I love it. This album just has ad libs on ad libs. I love it. I have a reaction to this on my channel. Check it out if you give a shit. I love this, just like. Amalgamation of sounds as well, I love it. This is underrated, all right? I loved this song when it first came out. I think the main difference is I wasn't a fan of Houdini when it first came out, but I absolutely love it now, and it's probably one of my favorites. I'm gonna presume off this album already. I just love it that much. Training Season, I loved when it first came out, and I still love now. I don't love it as much as Houdini, but like, yeah, I've always loved it from the start. It's just such a fun vibe as well, like Training Season, like, I'm done. I need me a man who knows what he's doing, who knows how to work, if you get what I mean. This, like, Brit performance as well, and the Grammys when she was in the cube. Top to see Like, we just get changes up. English, hello. We just get changes on, like, changes on, like, changes, and it just 
Keeps the song feeling fresh. I love it. I'm making me own dances up because I don't know the Julie for once, but <laughs> I'm giving it a go. Bye, boys. It's going to be gone. <laughs> and I don't care. I do just want to quickly pause and say that, I, yes, the music video was a letdown. It looked amazing, but uh, it was a bit of a letdown. Didn't match like the vibe and the energy of the song. But with a better music video, I think people would have liked this song a bit more. Like, if the music video matched the song, people would have been able to, like, you know, relate it visually, like, when they're hearing the song to the music video. But, oh well. I love how she gets, like, mm. It's like, it's just the production, like, the voice effects. I love it. I do think this chorus could have used a bit more of an oomph for the final chorus, if that makes sense. Like it did in the, um... London session and this just like mash of all the sounds is getting lost. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Again, underrated. Deserve more. 100 percent I love that song. I love it. I am a training season stan. Just what a vibe. I feel like I'm gonna be seeing this throughout this whole album, but like just a vibe. <laughs> Everything is a vibe. And the best vibe possible. We got like vocals in that London session. I wish she was performing it live at the, the Brit Awards. Like we got that growl. Would love to hear more of that. Please, please, Miss Julie please. That means it's time for track number four, These Walls. I am very curious what this song is gonna be about because that is a very interesting title. Oh. All right. Are we in a fairy tale? Oh. Why do I do this? I don't know. Oh. Lady Gaga, calm down. I'm getting sad vibes. Sad vibes, right. Is it a breakup song? Oh. Oh no. It's a sad dance. Oh no, it's this. Oh, I'm... Oh no. It's a sad pop. It's a sad pop. We're dancing, what What did she say? Like cry, dancing, whatever it is. Dancing with things in your eyes. If these walls could talk, they'd say enough. They'd say give up. They'd tell us to break up. No. I'm guessing this is about a previous <laughs> relationship then. Not about current one, because she looks very happy in that. This production is so, like, different though as well. Like, this isn't as much as a, like, a, I don't know, like a club dancey like Houdini. This is more of a, like, a, a slow, kind of vibey, dancey, if that makes sense. I guess a bit more like the first song, End of an Era. I am feeling the emotion in this, though. Like, I really feel like she means exactly what she's speaking about. That production in the bag. Whatever it was. That is. I love the attention to detail. I love it. Oh, it's done. It's done and dusted. No. We did not. So you get what I mean? Just like. So yeah. That like. They see it in the background is. I love it. <laughs> I feel it! I feel it! This sounds absolutely nothing like future nostalgia, alright? I'm getting angry now. I'm looking at you, alright? I'm looking at you directly in the face, in your eyes. How does this sound like future nostalgia? I don't understand. It is so, like, different and just everything production wise. Like, do we. Are we all using the same ears? Because how can we be hearing different things? I don't understand. This post chorus is such a like, it's a nice chill after that chorus as well. Perfect fit. Oh. So we don't want to leave. Boys, crack! In my ear! I love it! What the fuck? Oh, I really am not cry dance. I'm gonna be cry dancing. 
In other words, wow. Wow. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. Okay, one thing I'm noticing with these songs though, is they have like a few seconds outro of just like no sound. I hate when songs do that. Why is there an outro of just no sound? Like once a song's done, just end it. All right. Wow, yeah, very, very sad bop. <laughs> Here for the sad bops though. That she has this way of doing like, you know, a sad song, but like really just that happy, is it happy? I don't know if happy is the word but like still kind of vibey production. All four songs so far have sounded like completely different. They're all the own songs with their own production. But like as a cohesive unit so far, they all fit so well together. I'll be honest, I don't know if that's gonna be my favorite one, if I'm being 100, 100% honest. I love the chill vibe, uh, but it just hasn't hit me straight away. I feel like I picture this one more, again, still in a hot country, still with the sun shining in the summer. But yeah, just kind of having like, you know, a walk along the beach or something. This is just, yeah, a lot more of a chill. Sat on the balcony. Sat on the balcony, drinking your Fanta lemon, with your Lay's crisps, just having a vibe. Right, okay, time for track number five, What You Doing? I am losing my mind to this album, Miss Jula Pete. That is exactly what I am doing. Hello? <laughs> Hello, production. After midnight. Oh! I'm with you on that one, but this is like funk. Oh. We've got vocals. We've got some cool lyrics. Ah. <laughs> this is a vibe. Said it again. Wait. Julie told me shut the fuck up. All right, yeah. All right, quickly, I just uh, quickly want to read over the lyrics again just to make sure that, like, I'm with the, with the vibe of the song. I need to go back a bit and hear that pre-chorus as well because that was, I was talking over it and it sounded amazing. This, talk about Melody, please. Oh, all right, vocals. <laughs> All right. What are you doing? Right. Calm down, Miss Judah Peep. I was not ready for vocals on vocals on vocals. <laughs> All right. I'm scared to death that you might be the one to change me. You're in my head and now you're clouding my decisions. And she's like, like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to me? I wasn't expecting to be falling in love like this. What are you doing? Straight into the second verse as well. Straight there. I see you next to me. me too. Me and you, Julie Pete. Together. This might be my favourite part of the song. It's so funky. Give me the background vocals. Give me the, the floor. I love it. Oh, tell me what you doing for me. Kevin Parker, you are a genius. <laughs> you are an absolute genius. And please tell me how this sounds like a disco album because I am confused. Thank you so much for the spring chorus again. We'll end it together. Two of my favorite parts of the show. We'll end it together. Oh, yeah. I can sing along already. I love that in a pop song. That's what you need in a pop song. This, I feel like this part is just so like psychedelic. I just picture it being on the one's room. Been around in a circle. I don't even need to eat. That that will be my meals. I have been served <laughs> and I am um, loving it. Every single bite. That's just such a cool message in a song as well. That's like, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't ready. Like, 
oh, you're changing us, you're making us fall in love, you're gonna make me like, you know, a different person. And I just wasn't prepared mentally or physically, emotionally. That like, tell me what you're doing to me. Tell me what you're doing to me. Love it. Perfect pre-chorus and post-chorus. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Might be my favourite on the album so far. They were amazing. I can picture me in a club, you know, with a drink in my hand, just like absolutely vibing, absolutely chilling. It's not gonna make me go absolutely feral and like, you know, be, I don't know, dropping on the floor. Not that I really do that anyway. <laughs> don't know why I've used that as an example. But you know what I mean, like, it's a shame the weather is absolutely poo here today because I just want to go on a long walk and listen to this album like on repeat for days with the sun shining on us. Okay, but time for track number six, French Exit. I've got that melody stuck in my head, I've got What You Doing stuck in my head. They need to get going, they need to get going. Different production again, alright, okay. Oh. Alright. Are we having a bit of a, a salsa? Okay. Oh. Oh. That is how I feel walking about. <laughs> That's how I feel walking about. Everyone's in love. And I'm so lonely. Oh. Strip the production back. Wait there. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta hit the road. So are we saying that like, we're done? And I'm, I'm gonna be the one to call the shots and say that like, we're done, it's over, we're finished. This production, I was not expecting to be like, wanting to go salsa dancing to a Dua Lipa song, but I guess we are now. I love how it just trips it back, and you've got the clap. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true. What is a French exit? All right, bilingual coin, I'm with you. Maybe time away will make ding. Whatever that ding is, love it. What is a French exit? <laughs> Can someone let me know? Is that a thing that I don't know about? <laughs> you know what, let me just Google it. Actually, it says it literally right here on the screen. French leave, sometimes French exit, is a departure from a location or event without informing others or without seeking approval. That makes so much sense with the song. <laughs> right, that makes so much sense. Okay, I'm with it, and you're leaving them in the club, everyone's still dancing, right. I'm with you, Miss Jula Peep. Sorry I ever doubted. Sorry I ever was stupid enough to not understand. That thing again, thing. Should we have all? Should we all? Me too. Me too. Yeah, this is a lot more of a chill vibe as well. A lot more chill. Seven vocals again, though. Oh, head voice. Oh my right. Sorry, um, <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm with it. I promise, I'm with it. I'm just, it's all clicking in my head now. So like we both know it's better to just leave without saying anything rather than having those like awkward, you know, goodbyes, everything like that. It's better if we just leave, get it done, get it over with, and that be it. I'm with it. Run. Vocals. Head voice. Calm it down with harmony. All right. Um. Big French in my ear. So sultry. Solution. Solution. I never did French. Is it obvious? Bing. A nice bing to end it. My favourite part. The bing. I mean, another sad pop as well. <laughs> Just another dancing with these in my eyes. It's weird because it's obviously like French exit. It's got the French in, but it really has. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but it has the kind of like, you know, kind of Spanish, maybe like Latin American, you know, that guitar, it just has that absolute uh, vibe to it. I mean, I can 100% picture like this song, just sat like having a few drinks, having a few cocktails in the sun. I love how like open she's been with this song though. Like if you said you were going to do something like this, like, you know, leaving like without saying goodbye, everything like that, 
people would probably be like, oh, oh that's a bit rude, that's not fair, that's not very nice of you as a person, blah, blah, blah. I appreciate that she's been so open and, yeah, vulnerable with this though. I wasn't expecting to be wanting to go salsa dancing after a Julie Leaper song, but you know what, here we are. Strap me up, I'm ready to go. Right, it's time for track number seven, Illusion, which I think we all know. I certainly love it, I hope you love it too. Let's get into it. Talk about star. Yes, lovers on a pedestal. Do we know what a pedestal is? Because I do not yet. <laughs> hey. 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 Just the quality in this song. I love it. It's gonna be singing the whole way through this as well. I'm sorry. I have a reaction as well. Please check it out. It was fine. The <laughs> love, love, love it. This is like the upbeat, like, danciness that I absolutely love from Dua Lipa. This is what's gonna get me, like, throwing me drink about in the club of some poor innocent person. Getting it to twerk on me friend when they clearly don't want that. I apologise. I absolutely love this song so much. Not anymore. No, 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 no. Mm. Dance all right, me too. Let's dance together. Let's do it. I need to see this perform live. I need it now. Wait, wait, Miss Jewel Peak, please. I need to see this perform live. <laughs> I like this would go off so much live with the dancing. She killed the choreography in the music video. So live performance, please. I need it, please. And we also get some vocals in the background. This build up is everything where she's pushing them out of the way. Yes, yes. Again, I don't know what it is. Illusion. Yes, I will be your backup singer on your tour, Jula Peep. Just send me a message and I'll be there, I'll be doing it. I mean, that song just has everything for me. The music video was amazing, the background scenery, like the synchronicity where she was, and then she was like just flying on that little hoop thing. I love that song and again, I think it deserved to do better. Like it really deserved to do so much better. I don't understand how you don't like it. Like if you just don't get up and have a boogie to that song, like are you human? Do you have a heart? Do you just have a heart of ice? You want, you know, no fun in life? Because that's, that's, that's who you are, and that's what you do. Like, I can get not vibe into the song, and it, you know, it might not be in your favourite song, but like, you still have to dance to it, right? It just do. Okay, time for track number eight, Fallen Forever. Oh. Hello? What? Oh, I'm gonna like this one. What is this production? I don't even know. You know what? I don't even care. I need that again. Miss Julia Peep, I need that again. Inject it into me now. What? Talk about intro to a song. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna get sweaty. Oh. Oh. Oh, alright. Mysterious. <laughs> You're on me. <laughs> it doesn't have... Okay! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, it can! Just like this album! Vocals! This might be my favourite part of the album! Yes! Wish, Juna Peep! Wait, you cannot just do that and then go straight into the verse. I need time to breathe, I need time to think, <laughs> I need time to reconsider my life decisions. I mean vocals on vocals on vocals. Hello? Like a club dancey song with power vocals. Two of my favourite things in a song ever. Thank you. 
And this is a happy song. It's like, you know, how long can we just keep falling more and more in love? How long can we just be like hopelessly, romantically in love, living our best lives, having a good time? But vocals on vocals and... <sighs> I'm so excited, I'm too sweaty already, I'm too sweaty. This. I love the flow. Alright. We're having a good time. Alright. Ooh, we're getting a free chorus. Oh, forever and ever. <laughs> Keep it close. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Best chorus. Best chorus. And yes, she is a bitch. B I C T H. And in that order. What is happening here? Okay. Maybe I'm just being a bit too horny here. Can you ride from night till dawn? First of all, no. <laughs> I cannot. Miss Jewel P, talk about a, a euphemism. I'm sorry to pause again. I, honestly, I just need a break from that chorus. It's, it's got me so tired. It's got me so sweaty. I'm exhausted. After illusion as well, are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to send me to my grave? The production, like, oofed up as well. Oh, my voice hurts. I don't care, I'm gonna keep singing. Ooh, yes! Give me more vocals, keep them coming. Ooh. This production. Oh, it's just getting me amped up. Ooh. I'm getting an outro. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. My voice <laughs> actually hurts after that. It's in pain. God, I'm so sorry for everyone watching and for my neighbours. I was building that one out like I had absolutely no business to be doing. <laughs> Nobody needs to hear that. But I will listen to Miss Julia Pete do that every single second of my life. My short life, putting that song after Illusion. Are you trying to give me a stroke or something? It's a good job I came prepared with my, with my water bottle and my drink. <laughs> God, I cannot wait to be drunk listening to these songs. <laughs> I cannot wait. I just wasn't prepared for the vocals. I really wasn't. I just wasn't. They caught me off guard so much. And please, you're more than welcome to do that again. More than welcome. Okay, but time for track number nine. Anything for love. Short one as well. I think, yeah, the shortest one on the album. Two minutes, 21 seconds. Okay. Oh. What happened? Oh, funny. Have friends to laugh with. How exciting that would be. I need salted licorice. <laughs> licorice. <laughs> A piano? I was not expecting that. Four goals again. Yeah. We want more. We want it all. Give me a melody. Give it. As you shouldn't be. As you shouldn't. Yeah. Oh! Alright. What? Not expecting anything about this song to go the way it has been. Mm. Give me that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this song has not went anywhere <laughs> I was expecting it to at all. And I love that. Jeweler Peep and a deep voice, like... It, it does things to my body. As you can tell, <laughs> like I said, it does things to my body. I mean, we're a minute 40 in after that, and, like, what? <laughs> That's flew over. At least. <laughs> Production, it just keeps switching up. I can't, you can't predict what's gonna happen. <laughs> I remember. That production is so cool. <laughs> <laughs>
That is the one. Alright, cool. Miss Judah Peep, that is the one. Alright, you said it yourself, that is the one. Alright, let's be honest, I think that song was giving a bit more, maybe like, you know, interlude vibes than maybe like actual song, if that makes sense, if you can understand what I'm saying. I mean, I would love for that to have been longer and to hear more, have it a bit more fleshed out. Because the chorus, I was absolutely vibing with the chorus. I really liked her voice on the piano and it's been a while since we've heard anything like that, so it was actually... It's actually a really nice, refreshing change. I was saying it's a it's a happy song, but maybe it's not because you're kind of like looking back and you're like, oh, remember when we, you know, used to do anything for love? But obviously, if you're looking back, that's not how you're feeling currently. <laughs> so something's went wrong <laughs> for, you know, to be looking back on that with fond memories. Yeah. All right, all right, okay. Okay, it's time for track number 10, Maria. Maria, Maria, I wonder what this is going to be about. Okay. We'll get a tar in it all. Oh! I've had love. No! Oh. But his is the deepest. Is it now? Is it? Horny bitch. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. He was cold. There's so much production wise going on. And it's building. What is happening? What is happening? Ooh. Ooh. Straight up back. Oh. Who is Maria? Maria? Oh! What is this production? I love that! What? Wow. Okay, so we're getting Jolene vibes. We're getting Jolene. I don't know if it's as much as a who the fuck are you, Jolene? I can't tell if we like Maria <laughs> or not yet. <laughs> if Maria's a bitch, I'll be there doing whatever I can to help you, Julie, but <laughs> I'll be there do giving Maria whatever she deserves. Yeah, it's like, I know I can still feel like he, he wants you, Maria. He's not fully invested in me and our relationship. There's still something about you that he loves and he wants. But production in the post chorus, I'm gonna go back and listen to it, because that was uh, whatever it was. Is it a flute? I don't know, but I love it. Love it. Love it. The way she's singing is... I love it. There's so much production going on. And I love it. Switch it up. I love this fit back and then... Yes! But okay, I think we like Maria. Oh, he is everything I'd ever want. I want to thank you for all that you've done. So Maria has made him a, a, a better person, you know, better to be in a relationship with. A better lover, maybe. And Jim Ali was like, thank you for <laughs> thank you for that. Okay. Ah, right. We like Maria. Maria, we love you. Oh, right. Okay, I'm with you. I think I get the vibe. I could have read that completely wrong, so please let me know. I could be completely waffling, making it all up. So we're happy for Maria. Here's to the lovers that make you change. Okay. So we're giving Maria the credit she deserves. <laughs> we're like, thank you, Maria. Thank you so much for what you've done to this man. I would have loved that, like, I don't know, whatever was in the post chorus, that that was in the outro. I would have absolutely loved that again. But yeah, and when she shouted Maria straight into my ears, <laughs> My ears were open, and I was like, okay, okay, Julie, Lieber, we get it, Maria. Oh, just such a fun song, though. Again, like, so different, but they all just fit, and they all just have that same summer, just want to go on endless summer vibe. But no, I'm stuck in England, uh, a miserable, rainy, damp country. Maybe that's why Julie Lieber makes this type of music, because she grew up in England as well. <laughs> oh, no, it's the last song. It's the last song on the album. 
We're nearly finished, there's one more left. Time for track 11, happy for you. By the title, it might sound like we're ending on a happy note. So, I'm all here for that, love that. Oh, we're in nature. She loves a holiday, she loves a holiday. Oh, what are and what is going to happen to this song? Oh. You were so happy, I could just tell. She's oh. really pretty, I think she's pretty. a model. Oh, it's gonna be a happy song. We moved on and we're happy. Bruce. Oh. oh! Vocals again! Okay, right. Oh, right, yes, it's a happy song. It's about maturity, it's about growth. You know, we've moved on with our lives. We both have, we're both in, you know, new relationships, everything like that. And Dua Lipa just want to say is that, you know what? There's no, there's no bad feelings, there's no animosity, anything like that. Oh. Heavenly, heavenly. Oh. That like, you, 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 love that. Accent coming through, love that. Oh, it's, it's just so sweet. No. The ceiling. <laughs> why, why, why? This might be a weird thing to say, but this chorus has such a British feel. Does that make sense? Like a really like brick, poppy, rocky feel. So we're happy. And that makes me happy. Quick pause. Thank you for the vocals, Mr. Lee, but I love it. Okay. I'll get it. I'm with it. This is like, you know, a festival or a concert when it's dark and we're all just vibing. That's what I'm getting. Straight back into it. Uh, you know, um, swing my hands. Ooh. Some different production going on in the back as well. So it's like alien sound effects. I hear vocals in the back as well. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, wow. We're getting a long outro. You, 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 you. I mean, it fits perfectly. I love it. I love it. Oh. Oh. The R's are back. What is this production? It's so cool. We're back in nature. We're back on another holiday. Fair enough. If you've got the money, do it. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, completely different to the end and the future nostalgia, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, nice, happy song with a, like, I want to say the word, like, uh, do I want to say a word? I don't know. Can't think of the word I'm trying to say. I want to say the word anthemic. Like, that chorus just really, I feel like it really hits you and gets that message a point, like, so clearly. I mean, her voice just sounded amazing. Her voice sounded amazing throughout this album. Like, vocals in nearly every single song. There was some vocals that were just so cool and loved it, loved it, loved it. But yeah, that's it done. That's the album done. I don't want it to be done anymore. <laughs> I can't wait as long for another album. I need more. Now everyone's going to compare it to Future Nostalgia, so I'll just do it and I'll get it out of the way. I'll say my thoughts on that. I would say Future Nostalgia had more, I would say more kind of like big like hits, like radio songs that maybe cater to a lot more people, but yeah, more like smash hits. Whereas I think this album had much more of a, a concept, like a cohesive concept as like one piece of work. And I felt like a lot of the songs really flowed into each other a lot, there was like a very, uh, again, clear message throughout the, the whole album. There was a nice mixture of like the dancey, upbeat, then there's some slower songs, like These Walls and Anything For Love that just have such an like an amazing, powerful message. Like, yeah, overall, I am very happy. I, I absolutely love this project. I haven't looked at any like reviews or what people have been saying on Twitter, I've been avoiding it as much as I can going in completely blind. And there was a whole vibe throughout of just like, summer, just summer bops on summer bops. Here is my ranking, if you care. But it wasn't 
too bad. <laughs> Hope you don't disagree too much. But I'm obviously gonna download the whole album. <laughs> the whole album is instantly downloaded and saved. But yeah, let's look at some of the reviews, see what the general general vibe is from the, the public. Radical, Optimism, Dua Lipa. Okay, The Guardian, three out of five stars. All right, I, I mean, I would have given more, personally. There's, the British superstar said her new album is influenced by Britpop, rave culture, and Primal Scream, but you could go mad trying to find the evidence. All right, I guess, I mean, I guess that's not too controversial to say, I guess. Don't know what Primal Scream is, but rave culture, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, that's fair. There wasn't much of that. Britpop, I definitely felt a bit Britpop. Maybe I don't know what Britpop is, but I was getting that vibe, especially in Happy For You at the end. Pitchfork, 6.6 .6 out of 10. What? Dua Lipa's star power sounds muffled on a much anticipated third album, which has many interesting ideas for songs and a surprisingly low hit rate. I mean, I guess, yeah, hit rate thing, Future Nostalgia, like I said, had a lot more, like, a just standout hits that could be singles, oh, I mean, and like that, where I felt like this was more, really, really, a, a really lot more cohesive. It. Metacricket has given it a 70 based on 11 critic reviews. Somebody's given it a 30. <laughs> Let's read this one. Absence dominates Dua Lipa's dull and weightless radical optimism, the line of best fit, 3 out of 10. I think Houdini alone makes this album like at least a 5 out of 10. Like the whole album could be like literally just Houdini. So the fact that like it's read less than that, like what? I just really disagree. Maybe it wasn't marketed the best way in saying those things of like the vibe of the album. Oh my god, the slagging off Fallen Forever. Fallen Forever is a bold attempt at a more avant-garde kind of dance track, but just sounds bizarre. What? Did we listen to the same song? What? That was, uh, that was amazing. I'm sorry, I disagree. I uh, fundamentally disagree. In my expert opinion, <laughs> I disagree. Okay, well, let's read a good review. <laughs> Independent UK, 100, yes. Five out of five, yes. Unlike many of her pop peers, Dua Lipa doesn't offer any diaristic glimpses into her private life. I think she was quite, hmm, maybe not specifically, but she was talking about like times in her life, if that makes sense. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't know if it's a hundred, you know, out of a hundred, I don't know if it's a 10 out of 10, but it's definitely up there. I absolutely loved it, and I think it's a vibe. It's it's perfect, it's exactly what I was looking for. Maybe I could have done with a few more like dancey, upbeat songs. I'm gonna be listening to them all on repeat, so yeah. Yeah, that was my opinion. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. This is a safe space, we can discuss opinions. That's all our opinions. We all have our own, we're all entitled to them, it's okay. All right, if you don't agree, that's okay. Let's talk about it. Please consider subscribing if you do like these kind of reactions. I would love that. Comment uh, how long, if you made it this far, comment how long. Yeah, I've had an absolute vibe. I hope you've had a vibe watching it. Cannot wait to edit this. That's how you know it's been good. Uh, but yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Hope you've all had a boogie and yeah, till next time.